the gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If the Lord will ask you to request one gift from Him, what gift would you like to receive from the Lord? If the Lord will tell you today, tell me what you want, tell me what you need, what gift would you like to receive from me? What gift would you like to receive and to get from the Lord? My dear brothers and sisters, our gospel reading for today is part of the so-called farewell address or farewell discourse of the Lord to the disciples prior to Ascension Sunday. Very soon we will celebrate the solemnity of the Lord's Ascension. That is why you will notice that the readings, the gospel readings for the coming days, they are all part of what we call the farewell address of the Lord to the disciples. In his farewell address, Jesus grants the disciples a gift. And what is that gift? He speaks of his gift. And that gift is nothing material. That gift is nothing physical. That gift is something spiritual. That is the gift of peace. My dear friends, in the Bible, the word for peace is shalom. This is what the Bible calls peace, shalom. What is the meaning of shalom? Shalom never means simply the absence of trouble. It is never the absence of war. Shalom means everything that makes for our highest good. The peace that the world offers us is the peace of escape. It is the peace that comes from the avoidance of trouble and from refusing to face things. But the peace that Jesus offers is the peace of conquest. No experience of life can ever take it from us. No sorrow, no danger, no suffering can ever make God's peace less. In other words, the peace of Christ is independent of outward circumstances. Curiously, if you notice, whenever we celebrate the Mass, there are several parts in the Mass that speaks of peace. You will notice that peace is one of the things we always pray for in the celebration of the Mass. Let me enumerate quickly what are these parts of the Mass in which peace is mentioned? At the beginning, the priest says, The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship. There is a, a request for peace. Towards the end, we, the priest will say, Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. Another, Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. At the greeting of peace, the priest will say, The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. The mass is ended. Go in peace or go in peace to love and serve the Lord. 
There are also two songs of peace that I remember at this point. One is, Let there be peace on earth, and let it begin with me. And the other is, an equally famous song by St. Francis of Assisi, Make me a channel of your peace. At the end of our life, people will say, May you rest in peace my dear brothers and sisters everybody wants peace there may be some people who do not advocate peace they never work for peace but a lot of people are hoping for peace praying for peace working for peace in the world in our country in the community in the family in our school in our personal life Experience, however, tells us that peace sometimes is elusive. Peace is fragile. Peace is temporary. We never run out of troubles. We never run out of conflicts or arguments or problems or worries and struggles until we rest in peace. But there is a certain kind of peace which the world cannot give and which only God can give. Finally, my dear friends, the peace of Jesus is different in the sense that it is the peace of the heart. It is the peace of the mind. In spite of troubles and conflicts, it is the peace of the heart, a peace born from utter trust and confidence in God. The kind of peace that Jesus gives is that that will enable a person to face anything and everything, including death, with a tranquil heart. It is the peace beyond the resources of human nature left to itself. My dear friends, in our Mass today, God wants that we become peacemakers instead of being troublemakers. Let us pray. Continue to pray for peace. Let us work hard to attain peace. Let us also do our best so that we become peacemakers in our families and in our communities. Amen. All stand please.